Welcome to another Workshop Wednesday, a look behind the scenes in my business, Tabletop Upgrades. And in this video, I'm going to show you a couple of products that have worked and now listed, and one that didn't work so well, uh, that still needs a bit more thinking about. So regular watchers of the channel will know that I've started playing quite a lot of Malifaux Tabletop uh, Miniatures Skirmish game. And um, it's kind of my entry point into the war games and tabletop uh, miniatures market for a range of accessories. So some of the stuff that I've been working on is the big measuring set, uh, which I've recently listed, I haven't yet done the case, but a small kind of gateway product are these measuring sticks, which are now available through my Etsy shop. So do check those out. But it's a six, three, two, one uh, measurement stick. And I've worked out the packaging because that's a big part of being able to sell these things cost effectively. Uh, and we've got one for one, two, three, half inch for melee ranges and things like that. So that's been a success, as have the uh, wound dials. Now, these originally started off life um, without any of these graphics on the front. And I've kind of adapted them to have the, uh, the skull icon for a dad model, put some additional graphics on the front, and they go from one all the way around to 15 and these are a really convenient way of tracking damage on models and cards. And I'll splice in some um, shots of what they look like in action. But they've been a great success and they're now listed. And I thought on that concept, I would do a scheme marker. Now, if you don't play Malifaux, these might not mean a lot to you. But basically, there's various um, games within the game, for want of a better word, where you basically tag a marker, 30 mil marker like this. It starts off neutral. If you tag it, player one has it. Player two tags it, it goes back to neutral. Or in a different model of the game, both one and two have it. So basically there can be five of these on the board and these can be activated, interacted with by the models and it will change the status of these. Now, in principle, that works great. It's really visual. I mean, this is a prototype, so it's a bit messy. But uh, in reality, look what happens when I lay it down. The, depending on what angle it's at, that is hidden. So the information isn't visible all the way across the board, which is the whole point of this, um, this product. So still some more work to do. And I think what I'm gonna do is try and find a way to make it just color based. So it'll be um, maybe blue for player one, red for player two, maybe black for neutral or a split. And it's just how I do that in one token. So that needs a little bit more thinking about. But that's where I'm up to. Um, do check out the various links in the description if you want to get your hands on some of these products. And I'm actually doing prize support for a competition for the first time. So I'm going to be making some of this extra stuff for a, a Malifaux competition over in Liverpool. So thank you again for watching. Only a short one this week. Um, but next week we'll be having a look at some of the other stuff, particularly Gaslands, uh, that's going to be coming into the product line soon. So thanks for watching and see you soon.